And wasn't that just so wonderful seeing people back out and about at Pride 2021? And it's always just so interesting to hear what Pride means to different people um, because it can be very individual. But what I want to say now is that we're very lucky to be joined by two wonderful women. And I cannot proclaim to not know these wonderful women. We we were at a Pillow Queen's gig last week <laughs> outside. It was really enjoyable. Um, so with us today is Judith Finley and Kate Dernan of, excuse me, I always butcher that surname. No, it's, I'm so it's sorry. It. <laughs> um, of Queer Culture Ireland. Um, so firstly, maybe I'll ask you, Kate, what exactly is Queer Culture Ireland? Excellent question. Um, it is a lot of things. Uh, it primarily is a way to connect people mm -hmm. and to build up and encourage more queer culture in Ireland. Um, so that's one aspect of it. Uh, but a lot of what we also do is connecting like researchers to focus on queer history and to build that aspect up. Mm -hmm. um, but kind of anything queer and culture related is very much our jam. We will connect people, we will host events, we will record things, we will archive things, we will collect things, you name it, we'll do it. Which is so important, especially when you know, you're talking about, you know, a group of a community that comes with such a rich history and such a rich cultural history as well mm -hmm. that we do archive those things. So I might maybe ask you, Judith, um, what is it that Queer Culture Ireland have done to date? So we've done quite a lot and particularly with lockdown that's actually accelerated a lot of our work but we started with a lot of people who are doing independent projects, their own research, collecting mm. their own materials, students, that kind of thing. And we started by with a series of meetings that brought people together and they connected and projects went from small to quite big and exciting. But then what really kind of mobilized us during lockdown was we had the, um, in our care, we have the AIDS Memorial Quilts, the which Irish is, AIDS Memorial Quilts, which are just amazingly um, iconic pieces. Such a big responsibility is, absolutely. to have. Um, yeah. You know, for people who don't know what yeah. the, the Irish names quilt is, mm -hmm. what it formerly known as, yes. am I correct? Yeah, that's the official name. Yeah, well, yeah. well, people don't know what that is. Maybe mm -hmm. one of you will tell us. Sure, I can say it. Well, yeah. essentially, um, when AIDS hit Ireland um, in the kind of late 80s was the start of mm -hmm. AIDS start coming to Ireland, there was a woman called Mary Shannon and Mary had a great friend called Joe McCarthy and Joe, um, he ended up with AIDS and he very quickly researched it and like very progressive for his time, he decided to educate all his friends and family mm -hmm. about what HIV and AIDS were. And he was in, an instigator of a lot of people doing very active things around that. But one of the things he did, he got a book from San Francisco about the Names Project in America. And that was quilts that were made for people that were lost to AIDS. And when he was dying, he actually said to his friend, Mary, can you make me this? I would like to be remembered that way. And that was the start of it. Since then, Hundreds of people have contributed to it. They've made panels for loved ones that were lost. And um, so we've got this amazing, rich, and like you said, so important yeah. um, piece of art or, um, you know, piece of history as well from the queer community, but not just the queer community, you know, the, those who people lost people with intravenous drug use, hemophilia, so, yeah. um, loads of different parts of the community were lost. And there's so much silence around that yeah. loss. So these are really a reminder of that. And it's a way of me keeping their memory alive. Well, I think it's really important to, you know, acknowledge how mm -hmm. far we've come with things like HIV and AIDS in mm -hmm. Ireland, Absolutely. but also remember where we yeah. came from. Yeah. So I know that's such a big responsibility on yeah. both of you to, to be holding the, those quilts. Um, another thing I want to know is what prompted you to start mm -hmm. Queer Culture Ireland? Yeah, <laughs> that's a really good question. Yeah. Um, originally, this sort of grain of the idea, the teeny tiny little seed, um, was that we were both working in different institutions, mm -hmm. researching queer stories and queer lives in those collections. And we're talking to loads of other people who are doing the same in really isolated kind of siloed practices. And we wanted to bring everyone together because as we were doing that research, we realized so much of the resources and the archives or the stories that you find you discover while having a pint with a friend or you discover exactly, yeah. after you've done a tour and you're talking to the community themselves so to build that up and to make it happen kind of faster yeah. we wanted to bring people together in meetings through mailing lists but then also exhibitions talks loads of other stuff mm -hmm. so it kind of grew from that yeah. well i know i've learned quite a great a great deal from queer culture mm -hmm. ireland so great. where are we going next with it 
Well, at the moment, um, because of Culture Night and because the Dublin Festival of History is happening, the AIDS quilts are actually back on display and they're up in the CHQ building, which is near Epic, the Mu Migration Museum. Um, mm -hmm. After that, we are working in collaboration with the Fatima Group and Project Arts on a project that I may get the name wrong and apologies to the people that are doing it, but I think it's Rewind, Fast Forward, Record is Excellent. the name of the project. And that's going to be a traveling project that's going through the country next year. And um, lots of other exciting research Brilliant. and collections happening there. And I know people can follow you on Twitter, yeah. on Instagram, social mm -hmm. medias. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you just search Queer Culture Ireland, yeah. they'll, they'll pop up there. Thank you so much for joining us tonight in Culture Night. And I hope that you have a chance to experience some of the events happening this evening. <laughs> thank um, you, thanks, thanks, for, no thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Next, we are going to go to, we spoke to, um, well, myself and uh, some of my colleagues at Tenny, the Transgender Equality Network uh, Ireland, um, where you'll be able to learn a little bit more about what we do uh, at Tenny. So uh, enjoy.